So, what happened to Saint Adrian's remains after his holy adventure together with his wife ended? That is a good question, good sir. Thanks! As we saw in my video on his hagiography, his remains were moved to Constantinople. By the way, if you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out by clicking the link in the top right corner. Now, onto Adrian's remains. The transfer of his remains to Constantinople by his wife is considered to be the feast day of Saint Adrian by the Eastern Orthodox churches. However, his remains didn't stay there. Allegedly, in the 7th century, his relics and his wives were transferred to Rome. In Rome, he became such a popular saint that Pope Honorius I devoted the Senate Hall at the Forum Romanum to Saint Adrian, which consequently became Saint Adrian's Church in Rome. This happened on the 8th of September, which then became the Catholic feast day of Saint Adrian. Some of his relics eventually found their way from Rome to Rucourt, from where they were transferred to their final destination, Gerardsbergen. This transfer allegedly took place in the 12th century, around the time of the First Crusades. Since then, there has been talk about a St. Adrian's Abbey in the area, which is now a ruin except for a few 17th century buildings. The worship of St. Adrian in Gerardsbergen became such an event that the city became known in the Middle Ages as Adrianopolis. On the 27th of May there was a local feast in honor of St. Adrian. The feast was organized by the St. Adrian's Abbey and, among other activities, consisted in a parade through the city toward the Shrine of Adrian, which was then located on a hill called the Odenberg. This hill has an ancient symbolic significance and was already in pre-Christian times a sacred hill. Some archaeologists have recently suggested that it is actually a Germanic burial mound. His relics are responsible for quite a few miracles. The most famous and oldest miracle was performed on a certain woman called Helen, who was a citizen of Gerardsbergen. Helen gave birth to a child which was severely disfigured and looked more like a ball of meat than a person. The parents of Helen went to the St. Adrian's Abbey with the child and put it in front of the altar to St. Adrian. Together with the parents, a lot of other citizens joined in prayer to request an intervention by St. Adrian. After a couple of hours, the ball of meat actually transformed into a normal baby. In total, there are accounts of 34 miracles performed by the relics of Saint Adrian. I hope you found this brief summary of Adrian's relics interesting. And let me know in comments, likes or dislikes, whether you'd like to see more of this type of video. Stay holy and stay sane.